Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? Jay-Z got on Twitter yesterday, and he said no one can stand on that versus stage with him. It's not a chance in hell that anyone can stand on stage with him. You know? Jay-Z made a big, a bold statement. And um, a lot of people are on social media going back and forth about that statement. I'm going, I'm going back and forth in my mind of the validity of that statement, you know, because at first, when I first heard it, I was like, man, that's Jay-Z. He, he right. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. But then I start to think about it. And I said, hold up, man. There, 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 there's somebody, man. He, he ain't like when, when it comes to rap, hip hop, that's not a sport where, you know, you can always have your favorite rapper. Yeah, you can have your favorite rapper, but you can't truly say no one is the GOAT GOAT because it's, it's poetry at, 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 at its source, at its core. Rap means rhythm and poetry. So you got so many different poets. So many people with so many different perspectives on lives and on life and how they uh, how they express it. Now, Jay Z is top tier. Jay Z is top tier. He's on everybody's top ten. He's on most everybody's top five. He's on most everybody's top three. And he's a lot of people's favorite rapper. But the thing about it is, you got other people like. Eminem, Busta Rhymes, um, Ghostface Killer, uh, you got DMX, you got all these other rappers, you got Q-Tip, you got so many other MCs who people will argue that are reasonably and, and you know what I mean, arguably able to stand on stage with him. Now he and that and that and that and that phrase and that statement. I say Lil Wayne. Now, why I say Lil Wayne? You got to think, man. Lil Wayne is hip-hop's Michael Jackson, man. He been in hip-hop since a baby. You know what I mean? He he was part of the part of the most one of the most legendary one of the most legendary southern hip-hop groups of all times. One of the most legendary hip-hop groups of all times. Period. The Hot Boys. And in that group, as a as a as a teenager, he was rapping amongst some of the best rappers there ever in history. He was rapping amongst, let alone his his members of the group, let alone Turk, BG, and Juvie. He was rapping with Bun B. He was rapping with you know all kind of people, man. He was rapping with with Pimp C. He was rapping with he was rapping with Project Pat. He was rapping with shit Jay Z. He was rapping shoulder to shoulder, toe to toe, with the biggest rap artist at teenage, before his mama was allowing him to curse and raps. Now, we know in hip-hop, cursing is, is damn near, you gotta curse, you know what I mean? But uh, Lil Wayne was groomed to be an MC. He was raised in hip-hop. He was raised in rap. He's one of the, he was, he's one of the best. And though he idolized Jay-Z and looked up to Jay-Z, you got to think, man, sometimes the student becomes the master, man. Sometimes the student is ready to, to, to fight the master. Yeah, Jay-Z laid the foundation for Wayne to, to come up with, you know, his Mr. Carter and all this. He patterned a lot of his shit after Jay-Z, he, he said he was the best rapper alive after the best rapper retired. You know? All that. But Jay-Z got 13 albums. Lil Wayne got 13. I think he got 14 albums, matter of fact. So they got... And, and that's just solo albums. Wayne got like 30 mixtapes. You know what I mean? He got the Hot Boys stuff. Lil Wayne catalog. Ain't no if ands about it. His catalog is deeper than Jay-Z's catalog, musically. And we know that Lil Wayne is arguably a better showman, a better performer than Hov. We know this. And in, in an interview recently, Jay-Z said 
he could barely go on stage after DMX. God bless the day. Now, come on, man. A lot of people saying ain't nobody. Jay-Z right? Man, think about it. Just think about it for a good second, man. Lil Wayne is worthy to go on that stage in a versus battle with Jay-Z. For real, for real. 